I just arrived here on site this morning. Uh, I wanted to squeeze in a few hours of work before we get rain, allegedly later today, although at the moment it doesn't look like it's going to rain, I don't know. But uh, I figured maybe I could squeeze in a few more hours and get in some uh, floorboards. I did a bunch of these yesterday. I had to really work hard for them uh, because uh, the tongues and the grooves weren't really fitting together really well. Uh, this is underneath the bathroom, and I'm going to be putting uh, plywood down and then um, a slate tile. Uh, so I'm taking all the ugly floorboards and I'm putting them under this area because they're going to get uh, covered up anyway. Um, but unfortunately, the ugly ones also frequently tend to be ones that have like other defects, like the tongue's too fat or the grooves too small or whatever. So I was really fighting for these uh, yesterday. I think I only got like six in. I was only here for the morning, but I, I think I only got like these six runs in and that was it. Um, so uh, when I was packing up uh, yesterday, uh, knowing that I you know, wanted to try to come back to it um, tomorrow, which is now today, uh, there's all sorts of things that I do to kind of make it so that I don't make mistakes when I come back. Whenever you're kind of doing a big project and you're breaking it up uh, you know, through multiple days, uh, there's always that kind of learning lag. And I, I mentioned it in a video er earlier where uh, there was a contractor who was digging the, uh, the pit for the root cellar over there. Uh, and uh, it was a new person that came on, so they, like, they weren't sure what was going on and everything. Uh, the same thing can happen in your own mind whenever you are kind of putting things down and then you pick them up the next, uh, the next time. So what I always try to do is build in uh, kind of uh, fail safe so that I can't make mistakes when I come the next time. Uh, one thing that's very important about the next board that goes in is that the stairs end right here. The stairs come up from this area here and, and this board that's going in uh, right there, that's going to be the very top step of the stairs. And I wanted to make sure that when I got here today, I didn't just continue making boards that terminated right there at the edge of the stair hole. So uh, to help myself with that, I just wrote on this board, which is the next one that goes in here, and I wrote on the top because, again, this is going to be underneath the bathroom floor, underneath the tile and everything. I wrote, use this next, continue past stair ending. I put it in this position, I put an arrow down to kind of jog my memory when I got here this morning to make sure that I didn't just keep doing, you know, three section boards. I would make sure that this one went all the way across to kind of tie these together. Also, whenever I am putting these, in, uh, these floorboards in, uh, the process is I nail them in from the top and then I put some toenails in from the side. I wanted to make sure I didn't forget to do those toenails, so even though yesterday I had to leave, uh, you know, it was time to go, uh, I made sure I at least tapped these toenails in so that they're in the way and they prevent me from putting up the next board until I actually sink them in and everything. So whenever it's possible to build in kind of fail safes to make sure that you don't accidentally forget things, it's a huge help. I mean, it's just such a headache when you, you know, you, you break a job up, you come back later on, and you're like, oh man, I was in the middle and I screwed it up and everything. I, I know for me, that happens a lot. So whenever you can you know, prevent yourself from doing that by leaving yourself notes, by putting things in your way so that you'll, you'll stop and think, oh, I have to nail these in first, that's always, it's a great prep against you know, forgetfulness. And I think we all can suffer from that from time to time. That's it. Thanks for watching. I've got a bunch more boards to do today. We'll see. I see blue sky, so maybe it's not even going to rain at all today. Thanks for watching.